Welcome back trainers. Hope everybody's having a fantastic day or night wherever you're at. In this video, we're going to be going over how to get Tyrant and Amora. And we're going to go ahead and just look at what it looks like at the best grind spot in Alaska. While I do go ahead and catch some of those in those tasks and give you my thoughts on this. And we're going to go ahead and go over all of the adventure tasks right now so you know how to look for them and when to get them. Also, we're going to be getting a special kind of a task day. So look forward to that. That is going to be going down June 12th from 11 a.m. until 1 p.m. local time. So you're going to get on and off the Amora and the Tyrum. So let's go ahead and go over these tasks here. Thanks to Legends for these beautiful images. And I will be putting a link to Legends so you can go ahead and get a copy of this for yourself or you can just screenshot it or pause it. But we're gonna go over the ones that we wanna focus on personally. I know that all of you want to. Now that's gonna be walk five kilometers. I didn't see that task. That's gonna be for an Amora and a Tyrum. The one that I specifically was going for was spin 25 Pokestops or gyms for an Amora or a Tyrum. And then you may want to go for the hatch four eggs for the Tortuga and the Archaeops to get that new shiny in the game. I personally don't care for those. Go ahead and take a look at the 100% IVs. That Tyrum 100% out of the SAS is going to be 700 CP. And then the Amora is going to be 584. And then for the Tortuga, 638. Archaeops, 789. All right, and now let's go ahead and just take a look at a few fun things here. I got a very close to a Shundo Gar I was going to call it Garchomp, Groudon, uh, take a look at that, look, 15, is that 13, 15, dang, I got a 100 of already got XLs invested, now, take a look, if you haven't seen it before, if you're thinking about coming to Alaska, or maybe going on vacation here, but you're, <laughs> and you, you already know, a hardcore Pokemon Go player is always thinking about, okay, if I go on vacation here, Am I going to be able to get these stops? Is there going to be a lot of spawns? Are there going to be gyms? Are there going to be people playing? Am I going to be able to play the game here? Look, that's perfectly fine. <laughs> Let's go. We're, we're Pokemon traders. Come on. We've been waiting for this our whole lives. It's not quite there to where we throw a Pokemon out into the real world and we can have a battle, you know, and <laughs> see the effects and everything. Not quite there yet. Maybe one day with the goggles. Niantic, get on that. I know you're working on something like that behind the scenes with those billions and trillions of dollars. you got to have something there. But uh, yeah, so this is what it looks like. That's what I'm getting at. It is okay to play here. As far as the rest of the town, it's not horrible. It's not great, okay? There are stops, there are gyms, but it's not abundant. And this is the best that it's gonna get right here. So I went right downtown, right after having my breakfast, took Athena, put a blanket in the back for her so she can be nice and cozy in the back because her being in the car tires her out. She doesn't bark, she doesn't get crazy. She just, I think she's just tense in the car. So anyways, good times. And it was a nice little grind here. I don't typically go out and grind anymore like this. I'm going to start grinding on foot this summer hard. I have to. It's going to be a long winter. And gas prices are simply just rising up too much for me to just drive around playing Pokemon Go. It's to the point where we're going to we're gonna reach a deficit for the uh, tax write-offs. So I just, I can't. I'm going to be spending way too much on gas. Like, sure, I'll have a lot of tax write-off for gas, but I'll have no food to eat. <laughs> so anyways, we're just going around here. I mean, just grinding and finding those 25s and uh, trashing everything else. Don't care about the Tortuga or the Archaeop Shiny. If that's something you're interested in, I'm not trying to knock it. I'm just, I'm out here on the grind to get this <laughs> this new Pokemon so we can test it out. Oh, by the way, we got those ready to go. Don't you worry. So uh, Tyrum and Devolution remind me of, uh, let's see, I don't know, like Street Sharks back in the day. Maybe a little bit of the Transformer Toys of Beast Wars uh, combination with a, maybe a few other 90s shows. Uh, you, <laughs> Street Sharks, man, those toys were so cool. It came in the package with uh, like it was a car, it was cardboard. I think a little bit of plastic too. They went all out on that marketing, but it was like in a cage. I mean, those toys had like that realistic rubber. I mean, it was just like top notch. You couldn't get it, like take get, get your uh, allowance and you go straight to KB Toys. So you already know what you bought. Digimon, Sega game, or Beast Wars toys, or um, some Street Sharks, who knows? Anyways, just a little bit of nostalgia from the 90s, and then maybe you finish it off with a, I don't know, a, a visit to Blockbuster and rent a game, maybe get a little bit of candy, and then get a pizza at night. Ha, <laughs> man, Th those were the, the special days. That wasn't happening all the time. All right, so let's keep it moving here. We're just spinning these stops, having a good time, and... Just taking it easy. I mean, there's really nothing really to do except for, you know, just spin all these stops plus spin 25. There's no other place I'm going to go but downtown. I tried to do it around the mall, but it was just too slow. I found a couple. 
Hey, the spawns are pretty good. I haven't found a shiny Kranidos. Still need that. Still need a shiny Bastidon. Highly urge you get those XL candies for those, as well as trade. Remember, you can get those XL guaranteed while you trade right now. So take advantage of that while it's here. We still got 88 days or something like that. So no worries on that. But hold on to those Pokemon if you're looking to trade. Remember, you uh, look, you can trade legendaries, but you can only do one a day, right? Now, folks, I got to clear something up really quick before we continue on here on whatever ramble I go on next. And I have been stumbling over my information lately. It's because GoFest information, and I've been taking information from people and taking it at face value, like, oh, okay, and then that's it. Oh, so that's not gonna happen anymore. I need to get back on my stuff. Um, so we'll just put it that way. So one is um, Tyrum's evolution. That doesn't, I said it doesn't get charm. No, it gets charm, it has all of its moves still, and it is still a great move pool. It's just a matter of, is it gonna perform? So I'll be making sure to just stay on that. I also said that you can't trade the new Ultra Beast I don't know why, it's, it's, again, I, I just heard somebody say it to me and then I was like, okay, and then I went with it. You can trade it. You can trade the Ultra Beasts. Uh, so we're gonna make sure we get back on that. Go Fest time always screws me up. <laughs> Anyways, we're just going here and making sure our Go Plus is on. We're right by the museum right now and that is gonna be the federal building with that uh, all seeing eye penny there and it's trashing everything else that's not a Spin 25 stop, simple as that. The best thing, I mean, you could, I mean, uh, never mind. I was gonna say, <laughs> wait until you get three of them and then start spinning, <laughs> spinning stops already. What do you mean? Anyways, continuing on here. As you can see, this is as good as it gets. So it's not bad. The grind is nice down here. Uh, it's a little bit cloudy today, which is nice. It's been extremely hot and sunny, which I'm definitely not complaining about, but it's nice to take a little bit of the, a little bit of a break from the heat. My apartment is just absolutely chef's kiss. It's on the, up, on the opposite side of where the sun rises up. It's in the corner in the back, so the sun never directly hits it. I'm at the bottom, so it, it's very cool in here. As long as I keep the window cracked, oh man, it's just like it's, it's a breeze. So uh, anyways, catching all kinds of good stuff here, folks. Hopefully you're doing great too. Now, one more thing that I wanted to bring up, and shout out to Sparky Joy, um, is people I saw on Twitter were not happy with the tasks in which you had to go out and hatch eggs and or spin all these stops. They were saying that, um, you know, disabled people are not going to be able to do this like everybody else, like the able people. What are your thoughts on that? I'm not really going to say too much on that. I'm just going to let you speak up. I just wanted to bring up the news that is going on here. I mean, that's personally not something for me to speak on. I have my thoughts, but I'm not going to say nothing. I'm just going to leave it as it is. Uh, I wonder what Niantic could do to potentially help maybe people were saying like a this is not me this is me reading comments people were saying a, a separate kind of a almost like a spoof app for them i mean i'm not condoning that like i said i'm literally reading comments so not my idea and i actually do not agree with that but um i don't know what do you think grotto need those xl candies trying to still max out my septile got that level 50 well working well it's level 50 when i equip it as my buddy it just needs like one more power up all right, so our Amora here, you have to evolve it at night. <laughs> I don't know when night is here in Alaska in the summertime because it doesn't get night. Quite literally, the sun doesn't go down. It doesn't get night, actually. Maybe tonight because it's cloudy, but when it's sunny, when there's no clouds in the sky, you can guarantee that the sun will be staying, not, not in the sky, but it's not gonna get completely dark. It's crazy. If you go farther up north, then it does stay up and it is pretty nuts. I uh, haven't been there yet, haven't experienced that. But in, in the winter time, it's gonna you're gonna get like four hours of daylight. <laughs> it's so bad. But I'm used to I don't get depressed, I don't even care. I've lived here my whole life and I prefer the dark too. Got another one of these things here, kind of a interesting looking Pokemon. It is gonna be probably the better out of the two that we're hunting. Eh. And you don't get to choose, it's just one or the other. Who knows what you're gonna get? It's kind of a roll of the dice. Now, I'm definitely not showing all of my grind. I was out there for several hours, and I it was crazy because it split in the ha in, right down the middle on how many uh, of each one I got. It was just like right even. It was like 20 of each. So, we're looking good, folks. Let's get it. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Turn notifications on. And expect something extra spicy like that uh, <laughs> last video that we did do with the queen. Oh, my gosh. How awesome was that? If you didn't see that, make sure you go check it out. There was a catch in there. 
the catch of the year. I'm going to have to say that was the freaking catch of the year. Anyways, let's go catching a few more. I even have some more recordings that I can put in here of me catching these. What's the point? You know, I got them. We'll be checking it out later and go battle league again. Thank you for watching and enjoy this song. <laughs> Take care. <laughs> So you two, um, big up, big up dinosaur. Oh. 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 Oh.